Oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited. You know what today is? We're hauling off corn. I gotta get the auger ready to go, get the motor pulled out. It's been raining, so we kind of put some stuff inside the barn. I got a truck on the way. It's a big truck, so should be able to get a lot hauled out in first load. I'm gonna get the motor pulled out, get it hooked up. That way, when he gets here, we can just fire up the 806 and start unloading corn. Guys, it's gonna be a fun day. Stick around. Well, uh, first snag of the day. Yeah, that's not good. I guess I'm gonna get the shot back and see if I can vacuum out enough to get it down below. Uh, God, that's not good. Well, see what we can do. Yeah, there we go. The old five gallon bucket and coffee can did the trick. And believe it or not, I do not have cattle but it sure looks like a feedlot through there. Hell, I even lost a freaking sole on my boot. Sucked it right off there. I'm covered in mud, but it should be dry enough that uh, we can at least pull some corn out and run it up the auger, hopefully get some, at least one truck filled today. And pretty soft over there, yeah. I guess I'll find a piece of plywood or something lay down, that way I'm not sinking up to my ankles, but there's an old saying, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Well, like I said, if it was easy, everybody would do it. We finally got the, the sump emptied out of water. Got the motor hooked up. I had to put some pallets down because I was, I was sticking up to my, my knees in the mud. But it's ready to go. Kicked the motor on, it pulled corn out. Auger ran up the auger. Uh, even put a little bit on the ground out there. That's right, bird feet. Uh, just got a call. The truck is on its way, so I'm probably gonna go change pants because I'm wet. I'm gonna go change pants, put some dry boots on, probably some dry socks, and come back down and we should be ready to unload. Just so we're clear, guys, I know it's not great conditions to be loading corn out, as wet as it is. The driveway's soft, the yard's even softer, but I do work a full-time job, and this is the only time I got. I gotta coordinate with trucks, I gotta coordinate with time off, and unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to do it. I can hopefully at least get one load out and then I'll we'll probably have to put the sweep into the bin, which is, is a whole nother step. If I can get the one load done, I'll be pretty happy today, but I know it's not ideal conditions. I don't have an overhead where I can just pull the truck onto concrete and pull a chain and fill it up in five minutes, but it is what it is. Small time farmer, gotta do what we gotta do. Well, we're back. It's been a couple weeks uh, since I Initially got the auger and everything set up and we were gonna try to haul out. Uh, ended up being too wet. We did have a truck show up, but he wasn't able to get into the driveway. The yard was too wet and he's like, man, I'm gonna get stuck. And we said, that's all right, don't worry about it. Uh, we'll, we'll let it dry out. That was about three weeks ago. Uh, got another farmer who uh, has a little bit shorter truck, can maneuver the lot a little bit easier because the lot was set up for straight trucks. Back when grandpa was farming this, all he had was a C65 Chevy truck. No problem to get in and out. Semis, a little bit more difficult. So much better weather. I'm in a t-shirt today. I, it's not near as muddy. I don't even have to wear my rubber boots, but if we're gonna get the tractor fired up. We'll probably have to raise the auger up a little bit because this truck's stack is a little bit taller than I expected. It's uh, probably not gonna quite clear the auger there. So. Yeah, we'll get it raised up just a touch and get the truck pulled underneath there, get the 806 fired up, get everything running, and we'll load some corn out today. Stick around, guys. It's going to be a good one. Mm-hmm. Yep, that'll work. I got the auger raised up, got the truck and the tractor warming up. Now, looking at where that auger is gonna hit that trailer, I think I need to come to the left just a touch. Not a big deal, I'll pull up, probably back it up just a touch. That way it is uh, it's dropping it right into the center. So we'll get her pulled up and at least get it pulled underneath there. I may even lower the auger back down 
after I get the uh, get the stack past there. But we'll let her build some air pressure, get warmed up, and then we'll move it underneath. Here we go. We're lined uh, right over top. We're gonna drop it into in between those two rails. No sense in loading all the way up in the front. Uh, we've only got about 1,800 bushel in the bin to get loaded, and he's bringing me another truck. So this truck should hold a thousand bushels fully loaded so i'll have some extra room to finagle here and there so i guess we're gonna head over to the tractor and fire up the auger and then fire up the motor and start unloading right along coming out just like it should temperature's good former material's good i might have thrown a couple mice in the trailer so that's all right that'll just add to the extra weight of the corn but uh kind of just a slow waiting process pretty soon i'll have to pull the truck forward a little bit and then a little bit more and then we'll start dumping into the back half of the truck which then will take a little bit longer once again so i'm just going to hang out over on the ladder wait till i see that it's getting close and then i'll inch the truck forward a little bit Like I said guys, it's a pretty slow process, but gotta be done and this is about the only way to do it here at Family Tradition Farm. Okay, we're uh we're halfway loaded in the truck. This will take us probably 10 minutes or so to where we need to move the truck again. I'm gonna climb to the top of the bin, check and see how we're doing on the level, because at some point we're gonna have to get the seat put in and actually start scooping. That's a long process. Hopefully my dad shows up by that point. It's really a few person job, but so I'm gonna meet you guys at the top of the bin. There we go. It's uh, going down pretty quick. Now this is exactly why you don't want to get into a bin while it's unloading because if you get caught in that grain pool, you're going to go in quick. I've read reports that it takes a matter of 10 seconds and you're up to your knees and then another five you're up to your hips. And before you know it, you're swallowed up and there's a lot of people that die every year from that. So just be careful when you're unloading bins. Well, there goes truck number one. About perfect time. Guy that cuts, is custom hauling for me, he showed up and uh, was actually able to completely top off that truck for me. He said, nah, we can fit some more in there. Better to get it all on the first truck than to run out of room on the second truck. So, And even better, we are just at the point where, where we are ready to put the sweep in. So this truck sitting here, it's empty. I'm gonna get in the bin scoop out the door a little bit that way we can uh, go ahead and get the sweep shoved in the door and get it hooked up my dad should be here in about 30 minutes that way it is a two-person operation just for safety so i'm gonna get inside the bins i'll meet you guys inside okay just so everyone is aware the motor is turned off we're unplugged 
no worries of it turning on i am going to go ahead and just open this door now inside this outer door there are some inner slats that are actually holding the grain in so i'm going to open this just so that when my dad gets here he does know that i am inside um just for safety being so i'm going to climb up to the top and then climb back down on the inside and uh, hopefully shovel off this top section of the door that way i can get the uh get the sweep fed in there so i will uh yep i'll see you guys up at the top it's kind of tricky getting up here the ladder coming up is right there and then you got to step over into here to actually go down into the bin yeah you can see it's uh Everything flowed pretty smoothly. Got a little mat of form to it right there. Not too big of a deal. So I'm just going to scoop it out, get that door cleared, scoop it down into the center. That way we can uh, get that door open and slide the sweep in. All right, well, I want to show you guys just how dangerous grain bins are. Um, so this is a really small bin. It's only about 3,000 bushels total. We probably got maybe eight or nine hundred bushels left but i just stepped down off the ladder just one gentle step and i sunk all the way up to my knee the grain is not flowing all it was was just step down in here so if that grain is getting sucked through the sump it's going to cause all this other corn to come rushing down like a river and it basically just like quicksand holds on to you and that's how people get seriously injured and even die. So, again, corn's not moving, motor's not running. Somebody knows I'm in here. Everything is safe and secure. I've just got to shovel this out enough where we can get the door open. You've got that done there. Um, this seam right down there is the top door. That guy will swing in. Uh, I've got a big bolt on the outside. i got to take loose this guy right there. That just keeps the door from blowing out. So we'll go back outside, get that opened up, and uh, probably go ahead and run this down. That way uh, we're to a point where the sump is empty again because in order to get the sump installed there's actually a little peg down in there that i have to uh have to see so we'll go ahead and step back outside and uh run this down some more and hopefully by that point dad's here we can get the sump loaded in as you can see we're getting pretty low in the sump the sump is right there uh Hey, actually, you can see the peg. That's the peg that we need to put the sweep into. That sump's getting pretty well empty. We'll push a little bit more into it. Hop out and shut off the shut off the auger here. Okay, we got the uh, got the sweep installed here. It's uh, right over top of the sump. Runs all the way back over to the wall. Got my switch right here. Got dad standing outside. He's gonna kick on the PTO pump or the PTO on the tractor, then kick on the sump, which will carry grain away. Then while I'm in here, I'll kick this auger on and off because it pulls more grain into the sump than what the sump can take away. Uh, if it pulls too much, it overloads the motor. So uh, all we can do is fire it up and make sure it works.
is going to be very close. The front's already full. We're going into the back. There's still quite a bit of corn left in that bin. My guess might have been wrong on how many bushels is actually in there. Because we loaded that first truck full, but all we can do is fill it to the top. Well guys, that's a wrap. We got the bin completely unloaded, got the front of the truck loaded down. Back of the truck still got, actually eh, got a little bit more space, but my estimates were about right. About 1800 bushel, maybe a little bit more. But anyways guys, that is done. I'm gonna go home and take a shower because I am gross. I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you haven't, go ahead and like the, like the video, hit the subscribe button down below, and make sure you get notified anytime we drop a new video. Thanks. And you guys have a good one.